So uh, today we'll understand the organization's uh, structure, how it will be there, and uh, how we need to handle the organization elements. Organization structure or enterprise structure. And so do you have any idea on like your Ford and all those things? Ford and logistics. Mm -hmm. Yeah, similarly, they're using other software. The same as other software. They are customized uh, software. No, no, even the Ford also using SAP. You know that? No, I don't know. Actually, Ford I know only the same almost. Okay, so how they are creating there? You know, they are customized software, they are from IBM, they supported. Mm -hmm. No, uh, like, um, so Ford also using SAP actually. We worked on uh, SAP for Okay. Uh, but in plant, they are using only CMOS. Uh -huh. But uh, other, than, other than that, I don't. Okay. Everyone says CMOS, CMOS only we are working. CMOS only like, but uh, some other persons are working. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Maybe. Or like uh, from here to SAP, they may have the integration. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this organization structure we learned about first day itself, right? Hmm. No, no, no. Okay. This we are not learned. No? Um, I mean, uh, see, uh, first day we given like uh, uh, overview, but uh, oh, okay. we have a lot of things in this one. Okay. So uh, we have the organization structure like company and company code, purchase organization, mm -hmm. plant and storage location. Okay. So uh, like a company and company codes, uh, these are like uh, mostly uh, we handle it from the mm -hmm. financial perspective. Okay. okay. So any organization structure, uh, then it will be started with company and company code and uh, purchase organization and uh, plant and storage location. Okay. Okay. So company can be anything like um, it is like a legal entity. Okay. legal entity okay so it is a legal entity and uh, which will uh, describe the entire uh, um, entire organization okay so how it can be happen like for example if you see ford okay so ford okay. generally we call it as a company okay mm. so if you talk about ford uh, it can be handled entire uh, different different uh, geographical um elements also like um the ford is a, a head group okay head okay. under the ford like if you see uh, ford india is there ford pakistan is there ford bangladesh okay, is okay. there ford chain is there okay, okay. okay. so but uh, the company we will call it as a ford okay, okay. so okay. which is combination of all entire globe your uh, profit and loss statements or legal documents can be handled by the ford okay okay then if you talk about company code Okay, so these company codes like uh, we defined uh, based on the region. Okay, so for example, if you are in uh, Asia, I mean, if your organization is divided uh, entire things into four parts like Asia, uh, North America, South America, Europe, if they divide in that kind of region, okay, okay. they will they will define uh, each company code for certain uh, region. Or if they want to create a, each company code with respect to of the country specific. For example, generally, how what uh, based on what we are doing is first is based on the region, and second one is based on the business, and uh, third one is based on the country. 
okay country or currency generally okay so based on the currency hmm? so uh, generally uh, if you see the currency uh, india is one currency nepal is another currency uh, and china is another currency correct yes okay so if they want to see uh, profit uh, um, i mean financial statements with respect to of the currency level okay then uh, we need to define in the currency level based on the business level so it depends on the business how they want to look uh, uh, their uh, profitable statements like um, uh, like currency wise or product wise how they want to look uh, so that can be um, that can be handled here okay next one is a purchase organization okay so these purchase organizations are again so what is the responsibility of this purchase organization generally the purchase organization can be uh, handled for the procurement of material okay so these uh, purchasing department uh, purchasing department uh, is one of the entity uh, which generally deals about the procurement of the material and the negotiations of the particular material okay and uh, uh, the product delivery okay so all those things can be handled by the purchase organization okay okay so these purchase organization can be a, a plant specific okay or a cross plant or a central purchase central purchase organization okay so for example if you have um, uh, let me let me share you one example uh, if for the ford okay company and uh, ford india uh, is my company code okay and yeah. uh, fo rp is my purchase organization uh, for one and for two and for three for four is my four plan okay okay so so for example if you talk about uh, for one is a one plant which these guys are only deals with the uh, engine manufacturers okay, okay. So generally, these guys won't procure like a plastic and all those things. I mean, the covers, the seeds. This, uh, for this, uh, it is not required. The main motto of this plant is only to manufacture the engines. Mm, okay. So what they will procure? So generally, they procure uh, the materials which are related to the engine. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then these guys will say, um, we don't want uh, all of the purchase guys, uh, they don't know about what we need to procure. We need separate purchasing people who will generally specified in the uh, engines. Okay. So they have the, I mean, those people need to have negotiations with the particular engines of them. Okay. So then uh, uh, what the Ford will do, they will create a separate purchase organization. For other two, yeah. FOR1, right? For FOR1, uh, for FOR1, they will create a one purchase separate, separate purchase organization. Okay. Okay. Mm, FO, FRP1. Otherwise, uh, FPO1. Okay. Mm -hmm. Or the purchase organization. These guys deal only the procurement of this particular plant. Okay. okay, so these guys won't procure for FOR2, FOR3, FOR, um, FOR4. Okay. Okay, so this kind of uh, purchase organizations, so generally we'll call it as a um, plant specific purchase organizations. Okay. Okay, so next is a cross plant purchase organizations. Cross plant means what? Um, for example, uh, they want some uh, other, other procurement like. Uh, FORP, okay, so Pacha organization, and this uh, this also maintaining for this FORP, okay, same same Pacha organizations, okay, which can be procurement for this this one and this one FOR three and FOR uh, two also, okay. okay, so these kind of things uh, we'll call it as a cross plant purchase organization. So what is the advantage of when you are doing for the cross plant purchase organization? 
okay so the advantage of uh, cross plant purchase organization um is uh, uh, like um, for example i want to procure some uh, uh, so and so material okay so that can be used by for2 and for3 both the plants okay okay so uh, for example uh, one is there in uh, tambram another one is there in uh, tirunelveli uh, okay okay so i have one vendor okay that guy that vendor is told uh, i will supply only tambram for 5 rupees for each material okay. but uh, if you say tirunelveli uh, the value will be increased to 6 rupees okay okay so what is happening same material but the distance is different but you are uh, the uh, he increased price okay so okay. what is happening you are procuring for the same organization so why the price differences it should not be right yes okay so then uh, the cross plant uh, procurement guys will coming to picture and uh, they will order bulk okay so okay. so then they will say deliver then they will uh, change address of this material delivery address one you need to uh, supply to tambram another one you need to supply to tirunelveli okay they, then they will give that one so what is happen your organization will be saved by the uh, different uh, charges okay 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 so that kind of cases uh, uh, this can be used okay uh, uh, like a cross plant cross uh, plant yeah purchase organizations can be handled okay, okay. the next is the central purchase organizations which is also similar functionality about the cross plant uh, but uh, the central will be uh, applicable for the all the brands okay okay so that is a uh, uh, different levels of the purchase organizations okay so okay. next is a plant okay so what is meant by plant so generally plant is a place uh, where you do the uh, man uh, manufacturing or servicing like assembling all those things you will do so that place will call it as a um, um plant plant okay so that is uh, about the plant plant can be multiple or uh, it can be have the single okay so okay. the next uh, the next one is a storage location the so storage mm-hmm. location is a uh, place which is inside the plant okay so uh, which is uh, inside the plant or uh, which can be outside of the plant also sometimes huh? so yeah, this, uh, storage location uh, generally we use it to keep the stock at uh, Mm. Uh, so once we done the manufacturing what we will do we will keep this uh, finished product material to the uh, the storage locations or godowns generally we will call it as a godowns from there we are sending this material to the outside okay okay so that is about uh, the organization elements like a uh, plant and all those things okay okay so but um, how this linkage will be happen like um, story location and uh, story location uh, fsl1 fsl2 and uh, fsl3 comma fsl4 and these are the story locations okay and uh, we call it about now um, so now these are the independent uh, organization elements there is no linkage actually okay so how we are going to handle uh, this uh, um this things like uh, when you are sending the stock uh, uh, like uh, when you are sending this uh, material um, from one to another organization elements <clears throat> okay so how we need to uh, do that uh, just uh, we'll discuss so um, generally what will happen now we we define like a organization structure like company company code per organization plant and storage locations okay? okay so these are the independent organization elements okay so which is not uh, dependent i mean there is no data flow between one to another okay okay for example i procured some material okay so generally what should it happen it should be data need to be flow to the finance yes 
okay i mean uh, the amount should be uh, should know to the uh, these guys Okay. Uh, finance people need to know because uh, end of the day this finance uh, uh, guys will do the payment okay, okay. so even uh, what can uh, things we do then uh, they will do the changes okay so okay. generally what will happen um, so uh, to increase the data okay to increase the uh, data like uh, flow from uh one one uh, module to another module mm. okay so from the mm to fi okay mm to sd mm to pp okay so all those things okay okay so that data need to be flow right then only um, uh, it will be flown to the um, <clears throat> flown to the other things okay so in order to flow that so what we will do is we will do the interlinkage like uh, so we will assign company to company code okay okay so purchase organization to company okay purchase organization to plant plan to company code okay, okay. storage location to plant okay so these uh, linkages we will give so if you give these linkages what will happen the data will be flown from one to another like when you do the some goods is what will happen the in, uh, inventory will be hit okay and okay. uh, sometimes what happen um, uh, it can be uh, updated by the uh, uh, financial statements okay so once you give this kind of uh, linkages um, uh, what will happen uh, you able to see the full fledged data integration okay so if you don't give the integration there is no updation i mean there is no use of uh, um, no use of these things okay okay so that's why it's uh, it's plays a, uh, a major role so that's why sap is a most uh, uh, advanced tool when compared to other uh, because of uh, you able to check uh, the data flow from uh, one to another and you can understand the well versed of integration about the sap to other modules okay okay so Mm, that's a that's a thing about um, uh, advantages about uh, uh, SAP to others. It's common for uh, every company, right? This process yeah, company yeah. to company. Code. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This yeah. is common for uh, entire SAP. So okay. uh, whatever we are discussing, this is uh, common. And the business, I mean, some standard business is there. So apart from that, um, it will be changed. Okay. So uh, based on the uh, business requirements, uh, it will be changed. Okay. Okay. So this is about uh, this topic. We'll call it as a assignments. Assignments to organized elements okay if someone will ask uh, what is your organization structure means then you need to tell company company code company purchase code. organization oh, okay. plan, storage location and uh, we will do the linkage like a company code to company purchase organization to company code plan to purchase organization plan to company code storage location to plant okay okay so this is about uh, how these things can be happen and the next is so what are the things like uh, how you give the linkages See, uh, in the SAP system, there is a transaction path, okay? So generally, SPRO, uh, reference IMG, okay? And, uh, enterprise structure, uh, definition, uh, 
financial accounting defined company so we generally will go to this kind of notes okay, okay. and um, then we will do the um define company define company code define plan purchase organization store locations lot of things over here okay and if you want to do the assignments same spro this we will see in the system so generally this you can see in the system directly you will understand okay thanks assignments and then you do the assignments of all company Company to company got etc. A lot of things you can check it over here. Okay, so uh, these are the uh, things uh, we can uh, uh, do in the our organization structures. Okay, so how it can be happen? So how you need to give the linkage so the most part is like uh, how you are giving the linkage is most important generally the definition we can do by copy pasting something and you can create it directly but if you want to do the linkage and uh, you need to follow like the company to company and all those things you can handle okay so okay. this is about uh, how the organization structure is a uh, a major role uh, when you are uh, uh, defining the things in the enterprise. Okay. Okay. So, you clear this topic? Mm, fine. Okay. Clear. So, next, uh, we have the concept called as a master data. Okay. So, what is mean by master data? Okay. The data which is stored for long time and not change it frequently, generally, we'll call it as a master. Okay, so uh, so if, for example, if you want to procure um, some engine materials, so always the material will be same. It won't change the specification like uh, one to another, right? So similarly, um, we'll try to keep the master data will be same always, okay? And uh, we should not change uh, um, directly, okay? So this is about uh, how the things, uh, different kinds of the master data available in our side. Okay, so what are the different masters we have? We have the material master. Material so the master. material master can't change regularly. Ah, it, it is not fixed. changed regularly. So I mean, okay, it's it's fixed. Can change, but it is not uh, suggest to change the daily basis. Okay. For example, yeah. you you make it today, uh, and uh, tomorrow you come and change. So it is not suggestible to uh, do the changes every day because it will be impact your uh, you know, orders. Okay. okay. So that's why. Um, so generally, what people suggest is don't change anything. Mm -hmm. Okay. So once, okay. you, whenever you do creation of the things, you should be uh, uh, cautious about that and how you need to handle that one. Okay. okay. So that is about uh, how the things is there. And uh, we have the different uh, master data. One is a material master. Another one is a vendor master. Another one is a info record. Another one is a source list. Quota arrangement. Okay. So uh, these are the different types of the masters. Okay. Then inside this material master, we have the specific configuration related to the material master. Uh, we need to do the specific configuration uh, uh, for the material master. Then we'll know how we can create the materials in the system and uh, how to change, uh, how to um, handle the masters regularly. That we will discuss uh, uh, detailly. So we'll see how, how we can uh, handle. So one system is ready. Uh, then directly we can start the configuration uh, from the next session onwards. Okay. 